Hello, so today we're going to do a demonstration of our HDI Advanced 3D Scanning System. Uh, we've got a basic demonstration part here, and we're going to be taking this part into quite a few different softwares today. In this particular video, we're just going to be looking at a software called FlexScan. FlexScan comes with our HDI Advanced Scanners, and it's really the brains behind the whole operation. In the uh, videos that are going to come after this, we will take this part and throw it into Geomagic Control. Uh, we'll take a look at this part inside of Space Claim, and we'll also take a look at some of the tools here inside of FlexScan in order to show the various processes that we can do, whether you're going uh, looking at this part from a reverse engineering standpoint, from a quality control or an inspection standpoint, whether you're wanting to just do replication for 3D printing, uh, or if you have a, another purpose that we haven't even discussed yet when it comes to these particular models. Using our scanners is extremely easy. We have this big red button over on the left hand side that says scan. We're going to press that and then the system is going to start. The very first thing that you'll notice is there's this light that's projected onto our model. What that light is is uh, called a fringe pattern. So this is a structured light 3D scanning system, which means that we are projecting out a structured pattern onto our part, and then we're taking a look at that with our two cameras in stereo in order to generate a 3D model. So that may sound really complicated, but it's very simple. I like to think of these scanners as just a 3D camera. Uh, you know, sometimes we'll see people want to really overdo it and make it a lot more than it is. This technology is fairly simplistic. It's a 3D camera. We take 3D pictures. So uh, the HDI Advance is what I would consider to be the DSLR version of our HDI scanning line. And the reason being is because we have these cameras at two different, uh, at <clears throat> on a carbon fiber bridge, excuse me, that we can physically move these camera bodies or change out the lenses just like you can on a DSLR camera in order to set it up for specific scanning volumes. This means that we can scan objects or we can scan in sizes as far down as the size of a, a dime all the way up to a field of view that's about four feet in diagonal which would be big enough to scan a full size trash can. So those are just single shot scanning volumes and from that because this is a 3D camera that takes 3D pictures we're able to take uh, scans of even smaller or even larger parts than that. Uh, we've done scans of cars with the HDI Advance and we've also scanned the ends of a syringe with the HDI Advance. So it's a very versatile scanning system now, its brother is the HDI 100 line, which I'll grab and show here. This is a HDI 120, <clears throat> which we also have the HDI 109 that's smaller. And the difference between an HDI 100 series scanner and an HDI Advance, uh, the only difference is this is a DSLR or this is a point and shoot. It's set up for a specific volume. It's IP67 rated, and we can literally plug it in and just start scanning and it has one volume that it works with. It's great for industrial applications or if you need portability on your scanners or you just have a smaller scanning volume that you're looking to capture. This is also a really great tool and we'll do another video specifically on the HDI 100 series line. These are great scanners as well. One thing that I did was intentionally left in some noise. Uh, we have a cut, cut plane set up for this system. However, I wanted to leave a little bit of an excess, a little bit of excess data in this scan in order to show how quick and easy it is to get rid of unwanted data if necessary. So we're just going to highlight that and then delete it, and now we're left with just our file. Uh, so we can set up our scan planes or our cut volumes to eliminate all data other than our parts. Uh, however, if we miss a certain area or if we need to come in and highlight and delete a certain area, we can very quickly do that inside of FlexScan. Another great feature that we have is if you notice, 
we have uh, pretty decent data around the sides of our part, except uh, we're missing a few things in on some edges, and we're also missing the top and bottom of our file. Well, the way we fix that is we scan our parts in a different orientation. So in order to speed up that process a little bit, I've gone ahead and scanned this part in a different orientation so that we were able to get a lot more data off of it. However, <clears throat> one thing that uh, we need to do is align these two parts together, right? Well, aligning used to be a fairly difficult thing to do inside of 3D scanning softwares. We had to pick different points and try and find references to align the two files together. Uh, however, in FlexScan, we made that process extremely easy. We just grab the two files, press align, and then it automatically aligns and combines those models for us. So, very quick, very simple to build out one solid 3D model of our parts. And that's one of the biggest things about FlexScan is we try to make this software extremely user-friendly, simple to use, and effective for the processes that are required when dealing with this data. FlexScan comes with the scanner. It is a proprietary piece of software for the HDI Advanced Systems and it is a data acquisition tool. It's meant to scan and collect scan data and then process that out into a usable 3D file. So we have our part here, uh, but you may ask, what is it? You may not be familiar with polygonal meshes. If you're familiar with CAD, that's great. <clears throat> CAD is one form of a computer generated uh, drawing of a part, a computer-generated design, uh, but scan data is a little bit different than CAD. Quite often they can be thrown in the same bundle, but they have completely different properties, <clears throat> which leads us to why we need to go into separate softwares past FlexScan for some uh, various inspections or if we need to do some engineering on the model. So. Just like you have a picture of a part, again, we relate these scanners back to a camera, right? So if you take a camera and take a picture, you get a JPEG, right? Which is a picture that's made up of millions of different pixels. Well, this is a 3D picture, which means instead of, made up, instead of it being made up of millions of pixels, we're actually making these files up of millions of triangles. So if we come in here and we look around, we can see all these triangles that make up our file. Now, if you notice, there looks to be these weird, uh, these, these strange marks around some of these triangles. And what those are are stitching patterns. So we can see a couple right in this area. If we scroll over into this area, we can see a couple various uh, stitching patterns or stitching points on our file. What those stitching points are are where we found two different scans because if you noticed we rotated this part around and scanned it eight times uh, for this particular piece and once that's been done <clears throat> we went ahead and took all those scans, combined them, and then turned them into one model, right? Well, in that combined process, because we took eight shots, we have a lot of overlapping data from one, from one file to the next. So we need to be able to quickly come in here and identify uh, what the best data is. And inside of FlexScan, we have certain algorithms that will look for the most ideal scan data set based upon the relationship from the scanner to the model, and we will only retain that data and then delete off any other data files <clears throat> inside of the system. So in, in other scanners, quite often you see something that we call onion peeling, where there will be multiple scan layers on top of each other and it makes a mess, you get tunnels, uh, you get some really strange data sets. Well, we eliminate that through this particular process. Again, this is just another piece of technology that we put into the system to make it uh, easier for the user. You don't have to come in and play with a bunch of different controls. You just press scan and you pull that scan file out. 
So here's the type of data set that we're left with. We can see we've got a nice clean file here that we can work with. Uh, if we needed to do some additional work to these parts, we do have hole filling tools inside of FlexScan, and we also have our Calculate Deviation tool, which is great for doing some basic inspection on our parts. Uh, we're going to cover all those tools here in a uh, advanced FlexScan video that will be coming up in this series. Uh, but as far as the basics of FlexScan go, this is really it. Uh, this is all you need to get started with an HDI Advanced. It's very simple, very quick. <clears throat> the scanners, as you noticed, scan very, very efficiently, very quickly. And we can handle all sorts of materials. We do anything from bones to machined parts to plastic injection molding parts. So that concludes this particular video segment. Uh, we're going to go on into some reverse engineering and inspection video segments as well as a segment that talks about the frequently asked questions that we get regarding our scanners. So thank you very much and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.